Hello friends, myself Professor Prashant Mahajan. Uh, I am working as an assistant professor at AISSMS Institute of Information Technology. So in the last lecture we have started instrumental methods of analysis and in that lecture we have seen electrochemistry, its uh, definition. Uh, then we have seen types of cell, then electrode potential, oxidation potential, reduction potential and in the last we have seen NOS equation. So today we are going to see next part that is reference electrode. So first that is definition of reference electrode. It is defined as the electrode which has stable and reproducible potential and completes the cell adding as acting as half cell. So means what this reference electrode will combine with the indicator electrode and it will complete as a cell. So it will be acting as half cell. So what is the purpose of reference electrode? First to complete the cell and second it provides the stable potential. So these are the some types of reference electrode. Standard hydrogen electrode, standard calomel electrode, indicator electrode and ion selective electrode. So first it is calomel electrode. So it is reference electrode. So you can see the diagram at the bottom. There is a mercury. Then there is a mixture of mercury and mercurous chloride. Then that platinum wire is dipped in that solution. Then standard case, sorry, saturated case oil solution is there and there is a gel that will act as a salt bridge. So this calomel, it is nothing but the alloy of mercury, sorry, it is the ore of mercury that is Hg2Cl2. So this is the diagram of that calomel electrode. So this is the table which shows you the different values of E0 calomel when different concentration of the KCL solutions are filled. That means when we fill this calomel electrode with saturated KCL solution, then the value of E0 will be 0.2422 volts and its name is saturated calomel electrode. When we replace this saturated solution by one normal solution, that value will going to increase that is 0.2810 and the name of the electrode is normal calomel electrode. Then in case of 0.1 normal, it will become 0.3334 and the name will become DC normal calomel electrode. Next is construction of calomel electrode that platinum, then mercury, then mercurial chloride and then KCL. Generally we are going to use saturated KCL solution. So you can see from this table as concentration of the KCL solution increases, the E0 value of that calomel electrode decreases. So if calomel electrode acting as a cathode. So this is the reaction Hg2Cl2 plus twice electrons it will give you twice Hg plus twice Cl minus. So as in the case of in the case of oxidation the NERST equation is, is E cell is equal to E0 minus 0 0.0591 upon M log of product side upon reactant side. So product side is Cl minus and reactant reactant side is Hg to Cl2 and number of electrons is 1. So that is divided. So that will be the your first equation. If calomel act as an anode that will be the second reaction. So this reaction and this reactions both are equal and opposite. And this formula will become E cell is equal to E0 cell minus 0 0.0591 log of 1 upon Cl minus. So there are some demerits of calomel electrode. First, we cannot use calomel electrode above 70 degrees Celsius as Hg2Cl2 start decomposing. And second, it involves handling of poisonous Hg and Hg2Cl2. So that are the 
disadvantages of or demerits of calomel electrode then next is indicator electrode so in the case of indicator electrode we are going to see so indicator electrode is the electrode of the cell in which the potential depends on a particular ion concentration that is called as indicator electrode for example glass electrode so the concentration uh, the potential of the glass electrode it is depend on the h plus ion concentration so you can see the principle that is when two solutions of different h plus ions are separated by a thin glass membrane a potential difference is developed as proportional to the difference in the h plus ion of the two solution that means you can see in the diagram there is 0.1 molar hcl solution is there and we are going to dip that glass electrode containing acid solution that means in that we are having hcl solution inside the glass electrode or glass membrane and when we are going to dip it in the beaker there is another solution which is having another concentration of hcl so if there are two different concentration of hc h plus then there will be a potential difference and that is measured by this platinum wire so you can see the diagram glass bulb is there that is thin walled glass bulb electrolyte is 0.1 molar hcl then glass tube is there then platinum wire is there so the reaction taking place at the glass bulb is there is a exchange of sodium and h plus so h plus from the solution get exchange with the na plus from the glass bulb and you will get na plus plus hgl minus so the reaction or the formula will become eg is equal to a0g plus 0.0591 ph and the representation of the cell is ag comma hcl then 0.1 normal hcl h plus and then glass membrane next is when using the glass electrode we have to soak that glass electrode in water for 1 hour before use the reason behind it is the surface of that glass electrode should become active so for that we have to dip that glass electrode in water before use for at least 1 hour so the reason is first surface become active then hydrated layer developed on the outer glass surface and ion exchange will become easy so there are some advantages of glass electrode first it is stable electrode and can be used in the presence of strong oxidizing and strong reducing agent second it is compact and portable so you can see it is compact and portable in the diagram so this is there next is it attains equilibrium quickly fourth one it can detect and estimate h plus ion in the presence of other ions and fifth one it is simple to use so that is glass electrode next is determination of ph of the solution so for the determination of ph of solution we require two electrode one is indicator electrode and other is glass electrode so you can see in the diagram so this is indicator electrode which we have seen sorry uh, this is calomel electrode which is acting as reference electrode so which we have seen earlier and this is glass electrode which is acting as indicator electrode means we are we know the standard electrode potential of this uh, calomel electrode if we are using saturated calomel electrode saturated kcl solution then that value is 0.2422 so this is the combination of glass electrode and calomel electrode so that will become calomel electrode then salt bridge then h plus of unknown concentration and glass electrode so the e cell value will be e calomel minus e glass that will be e calomel value we know from the table that is 0.2422 and eg value that is from the last uh, 
slide that is this one that is e 0 z plus 0 0.059 1 ta so by putting this value you will get this so after that we want ph so this will go to the other side okay so this will be minus this will be minus so this side will go to this side that will become plus that e cell will come to this side so that will become 0.2422 minus e0 z minus e, z, e cell and then this side 0.0591 come to the other side so here it is multiplied here side this side it will go to the denominator side so that is the determination of pH of the solution by coupling glass electrode with calomel electrode so that is the reference electrode that is calomel electrode and indicator electrode as a glass electrode thank you